Why was it that you decided to write your first novel about this subject? Um, I think it's good to start your first novel with something that you're familiar with and um, sexual abuse is something I'm familiar with after 20 years working in the National Health Service as a psychiatric nurse. So I drawn from that experience and um, real world accounts of that sort of thing. I worked with both victims of sexual abuse and perpetrators of sexual abuse. It's a very emotive subject. Were you concerned about that? I, before I started writing, I did think twice. <clears throat> I thought about, uh, well, I searched on the internet to find out what was available uh, in terms of fiction regarding child abuse and there was hardly anything. So I ended up um, looking what was available with lots of real life accounts from people who had been abused, but nothing in the way of fiction. But um, I decided to take a risk and went with it. Were there particular issues which you had to take care with when describing events involving sexual abuse? Yes, it was very. I, it was something else. I had to rewrite scenes many times before I got them to a point where I was comfortable with them. The problem was I didn't want to give the impression. Well, I didn't want to write pornography for paedophiles, basically. Um, so I had to be very careful about how I wrote in order for it not to be titillating to the wrong type of people. But I wanted to keep the graphic detail in because it was important to get the horror. Reading the blurb, people may wonder if the book would be offensive to gay men by suggesting that gay men are more likely to commit sexual abuse. Was that something that crossed your mind? Yeah, before I even started writing the book, I considered that carefully. Um, I should say that gay men are no more likely to abuse children than anybody else in society. Uh, in order to counteract that, that risk, I put a couple of characters in the book, uh, Paddy and Nick, and they're in there to, uh, uh, as the good gay men, to, to, give the, to give the message that whether you're gay, whether you're straight, it, 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 makes no, it has no bearing on the fact of whether you're likely to abuse or not. There are some scenes which are uncomfortable to read. Things happen that most of us would like to pretend don't happen in a civilised world. Were you uncomfortable writing those scenes? Yeah, I had to step outside my comfort zone in order to write them. It was important that I made the book as realistic as possible. Um, and I took from experiences that I've, what I've had when I've been talking to people who have been abused. Um, so I wanted a, something that was realistic. Um, I didn't take any, none of the story is from exact real life accounts, but little bits are taken from various things that I've, I've been involved with, talked to people about. Would you advise people of a sensitive disposition not to read Lethal Guardian? Um, sexual abuse is real. It happens in all parts of the world. There are many victims in every part of the world. Um, there are people who don't really feel that they want to face that truth uh, and they don't want to face it in the sort of detail that I've given in the book and those people probably shouldn't read it. I think it's going to be uncomfortable for a lot of people to read and that's the intention of the book, to give the true picture. Uh, but the, the book also has parts which remind people that there's plenty of good in the world. What would you say was your intended target audience for Lethal Guardian? I, I don't know that there is one, I'd, I'd say anybody. Um, obviously people over 18, it's not, it's not for people under 18. Um, but I set out to write a book that would hit the widest audience possible and, I, and I'm pleased with the final result and even though it's not a comfortable subject I think a wide range of people could quite easily read it. This was your first novel. Did you find it difficult to write? When I set out writing it I thought it would be a bit of a chore. But with the exception of those difficult scenes that I had to rewrite a few times, mm. I found myself enjoying it as if I was reading it because the mind plays funny tricks when you're writing and what happens is 
ideas come into your mind as you write. You think, oh, I'll put that in. And you're almost like telling yourself the story that you haven't heard before. So I didn't know what the ending was going to be until I got to it. So it was, it was actually really interesting. It was like reading a book for the first time. The feedback you have had so far has been good, hasn't it? What have people been saying? Yeah, I've had very positive feedback. I'm very pleased with that. The most important thing, I think, for an author is when somebody said, oh, I couldn't put it down. And that, that's the... Um, that's the comment that's come from people who got back to me and said how they felt about it. They couldn't put it down, they did they? Um, there have been other comments such as uh, it provoked a roller coaster of emotions. Some people have said it, it had them in tears. Other people have said it was very uncomfortable but they enjoyed reading it. And the most pleasing comments I suppose have come from people who have, have confided in me that they have themselves being sexually abused and they really enjoyed the book so that, that was pleasing that meant that I I feel that I've got the right balance. Does this mean that we can expect more novels from you? I'd like to think so. I really really enjoyed writing the book. Um, the issue is the bills have to be paid so if this book sells well then maybe the, other, the next one will be hot on its heels. I'll, I'll, I'll probably write again at some point, but it'll be quicker if this book sells. So if you've read it and you enjoyed it, tell your friends and get them to buy it. Thank you.